All right, today's show is officially, and it's Tuesday, because <laughs> we have both, <laughs> we have both, so true. we have both forgotten that it's Tuesday. None of the other co-hosts are here, they probably forgot to. We just like basically threw stuff together at the last minute. Uh, uh, it's like, so, that saves the show, <laughs> I remember it's Tuesday, and uh, here we go. And anybody else who happens to show up in the chat room may or may not be guest co-hosts. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's uh, <laughs> yeah, this is this is why we shouldn't have holiday week. And, and you know what? The holiday wasn't even actually Monday. The holiday was Sunday, but we just had Monday to screw with everybody. <laughs> but you know, I, I, one thing is interesting. I am I am. Uh... I already uh, I'm starting uh, to, to like this beer, so I'm drinking earlier to this evening. Usually I stop and I start mid show, but uh, uh, this is a French beer that I that I got, and I'll put, show it to uh, 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 my kid. Uh, well, okay, uh, what what what's the alcohol content? I, I don't know. It's uh, it doesn't say. My parents my parents gave it to me. Um, it's got to say on there somewhere. Uh, it's, I'm sure. Here, I'll show it for you. Um, imported from France, so I've never really have had a French beer before. I haven't either. Does it taste yeah. like wine or something? <laughs> no, no, it's like a light. Um, Lager or ale? It's like an ale, like a light ale. And very light, very... Uh, it's in a green bottle, so I, I had to pour it out yeah. in a glass to see it in color. Yeah, I'm not a big beer connoisseur, though. So, yeah, so, but, but it, 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 it's real easy. It's either a lager or an ale. It's like yeah. they don't taste anything alike, no matter how. <laughs> so, it's a, I would say it's a pale ale. So. I, I, I was very intrigued. I was like, a French, a French wine. Whoa, what's up with that? Or a French beer? beer. <laughs> yeah, French, French beer. wine, yeah. of course. Wine. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's beer. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, there was a there's a store here in Houston called the Central Market. It's owned by H E B, and they have all. It's like a very uh, exotic supermarket. They have all kinds of neat imports and things like that. And like their cheese section is huge. You can get just about any type of cheese you want from all over the world. Same thing with meats and the bakery. It's just a really well done, um, very upper upper po type stuff. And they do these themes. And their th their theme last month was France. So they had people from France come over, do uh, different foods and products and all sorts of stuff. So this is where this is where the beer came from. So. Well, what do you expect from the state that has a Paris? You know, <laughs> like, what do I expect from the state of what? Now? The state that has a Paris. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's the, uh, so. Strange little place. Small little town. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, what do we want to start with? There's some interesting friends here. Yeah, um... I, 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 I'm not sure I'd give any credence to them buying opera. I've, I've, heard, so. I've heard this rumor yeah. off and on. Okay. Uh, so what we're talking about is Facebook going to buy opera. This was something I, w I had observed last week. So, um... The, yeah, and I hope not. Oh Lord! Well, it, 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 aside from the I hope not, I I don't see how it makes any sense uh, because mobile it, because Opera already has a mobile browser ready to go, and I think that's what they want because Facebook is all about trying to appease these investors. Yeah, after um, the next article, we'll get into falling below the right PO. And well, and, uh, okay, okay uh, 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 what? I can understand that in the short run, but in the long run, that would cannibalize Facebook because Opera is this little. While it has some decent features, it's the fifth browser. Yeah. 
You know, in order, it is Chrome. In the United States, it's pretty popular. It's like number one in quite a few countries in Europe. Though. Yeah, I know, but in the global market as a whole, it, it is this little uh, podunk whatever. And unlike desktop platforms and other things and things like that, I sound like I'm arguing against an argument I undermine all the time, but the reality is when it comes to the web, you need to be as agnostic and ubiquitous as possible because if you're not supporting anything, you're turning away customers, clients, eyeballs. And for Facebook, it is entirely about eyeballs. So, but what if they what if they just buy it and then make it their own and they use the mobile component so it drives a, a mobile Facebook, so to speak? Well, but it's still it's but it's still not going to be the default mobile browser. Which would mean, uh, unless Facebook does something stupid, when I actually have, I actually have Opera on my. Uh, on oh no no no! I know I know. Facebook is available for Android, iOS. Uh, it, 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 I mean, um, uh, Opera is available for Android, iOS. So, so is the Firefox beta for Android, and so there's a bunch of this. But Opera is the one that's largely uh, uh, all the mobile platforms right now. But the only way Facebook could enforce that experience would be by n people on their default browser on their mobile device go to Facebook and they're locked out of Facebook and says, please install Opera to use Facebook. Do you think people would... Oh, no, 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 but, but I don't think they would do that. I think that uh, um, you could do an, an embedded uh, deal. Well, it would be part of the Facebook application install. Like when you... But I, I guess if you go to Facebook from the web... And then you already have your browser portal open. But if you're downloading the application, let's say they do an update to the application, then that browser will just simply be part of it, and you'll just be installing the Facebook, you know, browser which was formerly Opera Mini or whatever that is now part of that updated application. Well, let's see. Do they really need that in the application? Well, they, that's what they're. I mean, the Facebook applications. I mean, they're they're. I certainly there's one on BlackBerry. I know there's one on iOS. I know there's one on Android. Uh, there, uh, uh, shoot, I even think there was one on WebOS, but um, it, it, essentially that's the, the gateway in, so if that's the gateway in, then Opera just becomes part of the Facebook package and, and they install it via the uh, an application update. Uh, okay, but I, I'm still not seeing how it makes sense for them to buy them. I, I mean, yes, they can do all those things, but I'm not seeing how those things solve their fundamental problems of... Right oh, now. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to say, hey, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah. It's like I say, the reason you make acquisitions like that is to solve a problem or to compete with a competitor. And buying Opera does neither for Facebook. It would basically just run Opera into the ground. <laughs> That's is basically what it would do. And Opera is not doing great to begin with. It's, it's got a lot of great features, a lot of good things. It's not my cup of tea, but it is a good browser. But it, for some reason, can never get itself going. Uh, so I. I like it. I, I do like Opera. I know a lot of people like it. it it's just I, I don't like that flavor of. I don't think it's just well known. I think if it were a more well known, uh, it, may, it, it, it probably would do well. It, who knows? I no, no. <laughs> I, that was the logic behind Opera freaking getting the EU to make IE removable. Nobody knows about other browsers. You know what? That has not stopped Chrome, Chrome, Chrome slash Chromium. Before that, Firefox. You know, um, and uh, yeah, they did a great job. And, and, Google did a fantastic job advertising Chrome, and I think yeah, well, no, well, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm hesitant to count, even though it is now the number one browser, Chrome slash Chromium in the same league, I say that because it had the weight of Google behind it. And a better example of just a niche third party doing really good at getting their product out there is Mozilla. Mozilla did great with Firefox. They got they it out did, there, they? they did it yeah. good. You know, they, they showed Apple, it isn't, the problem isn't that it's a Windows world, it's that you're not doing it right. Because, <laughs> you know, Apple was a multi million, multi-billion dollar company and they, they still can't quite get Safari readily adopted. By... Well, there's quite a few, I think, loyalists that, that like Safari. I'm not oh, a no, Safari no, no, no. Safari has like but, eight to twelve times the more... I know behind it is universally. Oh, no, no, Safari is the number four browser. It has yeah. eight to twelve times the market of Opera any day of the week. 
It's one of those reasons. Even an Opera actually is a better browser than Safari. So it really makes you wonder, what is Opera doing so wrong that companies like Mozilla, who operate entirely open source, entirely soft, can get their thing out there and sometimes declare war with things like the MP3 codec right. and other things like that, yet still get their browser out there. And on the other hand, it's just having this I don't know problem. It's one of those, I'm never really sure what's going on there. And, and, and on a side note, it's something that Rusty and I were discussing before the show, since we're on the topic of browser, I'll make, I'll make a quick segue, is that after the last week's show, I never had Chrome on my Mac, uh, on any Mac, really. It was just really Windows, because I had some you know customers that are mostly Microsoft-based uh, clients that don't like to really use Internet Explorer, so it's either Firefox or Chrome as an alternative. So Chrome is usually on my Windows machines, and I, always, I never liked... The, the way it utilizes resources. So after last week's show, I install it on on my Mac, uh, one Mac, you know, I, I didn't install it on any others. But but uh, my Mac Pro, it's it's I, I don't know. Someone's got to explain this to me. It, it runs uh, far more efficient, and from what I can tell from the system resources, and it's pretty damn quick uh, on the Mac Pro. So I'm just uh, I'm pretty impressed with with. Um, it, 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 it has something to do with the way Unix and Linux handle memory paging in a much more efficient manner. Uh, it creates uh, the, basically the sandboxing that Chrome and Chromium do, where they put everything in, inside inside itself and use all those. It creates a level of inefficiency inside the Windows environment that, for some reason, it doesn't on um, Linux and. Unix and OS X. Yeah, see, Unix. let me. Yeah, look, for instance, I'm looking at the PAE in, in my OS X here, and I want to. Uh, uh, shoot, let's just go to a, an intensive website here on Chrome, and um, I'm just taking a look at what my resources and how they're occurring here. Well, I mean, I don't know how it breaks up exactly on your Mac, but if I go into the thing here, and I've got dozens of Chrome tabs open here, and they're basically all independently allocated. You know, I have a Chrome... Yeah, on, on Windows, yeah. And, and, and see, on Windows, it always seems to be hogging and hogging and hogging and hogging yeah, and hogging. Yeah, but uh, on, on the Linux side here, it, it's why it's using resources, and in some cases more than I'd like. It's not hogging. It's basically using that stack and no additional stacks. And it's... Uh, it, that's something to do with the yeah. memory management in, in a Unix or Linux-like system. Uh, it's a, it, I just it's a it's an observation that I made, and I'm trying to kind of um, you know put some science behind it, I guess. So, but impressed. 